All right, we're going to talk about why the Detroit Lions should get rid of, cut, trade. If somebody want the running back, theoretic, let's speak on it. Appreciate everybody for showing love. Appreciate everybody for subscribing to the channel. And um, let's talk about theoretic. Now, I've been saying they should cut Reddick. He's a cap cow. He was a, a potential cap casualty before and now after the draft. Um, you know, people look at Tyler, think of the kid Tyler Johnson from Maryland, and be like, oh, yeah, I need to start him. But he got to prove himself in this league. He's not just going to walk on his team and, and, and knock theoretic off because he's cheaper, he faster, and he can bench rep, he can bench press 220, uh, 225, 27 times. He ran a 4 3 6 at his pro day. It didn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? He got to come in camp and earn that. And could he earn that? Yeah, last year you had an undrafted free agent, Philip Lindsay, that took over the Denver Broncos and became a Pro Bowl running back. Running backs are a dime a dozen, they kind of the equivalent of guards. You can find great guard play in college anywhere. You know, you find them at Lehigh with C.J. McCollum. You can find them with Steph Curry at Davidson. Guards are a dime a dozen. The running backs are a dime a dozen. You can find a great running back like Terrell Davis, you know, you know, Mike Anderson. You can find different running backs, and they can do great. And a lot of times, you know, they come to the NFL, and they translate right away. So, theoretic, he just doesn't put, he just doesn't offer nothing from the running back position. Um, he, catch, well, he, he can catch the ball, but other than that, is he really breaking the catch off for 20, 30 yards? You know when Theoretic coming in the ball game, either he pass blocking, which he wasn't that good on pass blocking last year like he usually is. Maybe that was an anomaly more than more than the norm. Um, you know, but, you know, he, he provides, you know, some pass block. You know, he pass blocking or he catching the ball at the backfield. No team is fearing Theoretic in the backfield. Nobody's saying, oh, man, it could be fourth and one. And the team ain't going to put eight, nine, ten men in a box. It's Theoretic. I'm going to think they're going to throw the ball. You know, he goes in between tackles. Sometimes he has some nice runs, but he doesn't provide the power. He's not that elusive. And, you know, quite frankly, he don't have explosiveness. This is a guy that ran a 4-7. A 4-7. Like, the Lions got some extremely slow, slow, slow players at skill positions. T's Tabor ran a 4-7. Theoretic ran a 4-7. You know what I'm saying? Uh, TJ Hawkinson ran a 4-7. Even think, I, I think he plays a little bit more than uh, better than that. But that really don't matter for a tight end. They got some guys that are extremely slow from the get up and down the field, lateral set standpoint. You know, you got to be fast in this league. You got to have some type of speed today. The way they're spreading it out, you got to be, you got to have speed to be able to take it to the house. Yeah, you got your Edelmans, you had your Welkers, your Cole Beasley's, and, and guys of that nature. Yeah, they's a place in the, in the league for, for guys like that. You know, it's a place in the league for guys like that. But for theoretic, you know, for all you for all you known for is pass blocking and catching the ball out the backfield. You know what I'm saying? That's just not good enough to be even the fourth or the fourth a running back. And then again, he's taking third down opportunities for Kerryon Johnson, in my opinion. He's taking he taking, you know, you know, his catching ability. Kerryon Johnson should be a three down back mixing in with CJ Anderson and Zach Zinner every now and again. He should have his, he should have his full opportunities. To catch the ball coming on, coming off the swing routes at the backfield, coming off the in, uh, the uh, the in breaking routes, the option routes, the Texas routes, he he can run those same routes that theoretic can do. Any he provides more explosion, and more home run ability, and elusiveness when he catch the ball. <clears throat> you know he provides that yak. Theoretic he get yak every now and again, but nobody really scared. Theoretic gonna take it to the house. In my trick daddy voice, take it to the house. He ain't gonna take it to the house. The Lions' idea should be getting younger and faster. Don't waste no more reps on theoretic slow ass. And people say, well, he go to the slot. He went to the slot last year, and he just wasn't effective. After they tried the golden tape, they tried theoretic in the slot. He wasn't effective. You know, it's, it's never nothing personal with a particular, a particular player. It's just what it is. When they know theoretic coming in the game, it's like tipping – it's like tipping like when they had the tight ends come in the game. They had those blocking tight ends. And when those tight ends came in the game, or the Lions put a, a six offensive lineman at tight end in the game, you knew they was running the ball. When they already come in, you know it's going to be a pass. Maybe pass blocking, him standing in the block, or him going out for a route. And everybody is sitting on that option route or sitting on that Texas route. They sitting right on that route, ready for something to be in breaking. And if you go to the if you go to the boundaries, they can count on Matthew Stafford not being accurate with the ball, or they can count on Theo Reddick, you know, not not getting up the field, making something happen. Everything is over the middle with Theo Reddick, that fear, and they play it. 
and the NFL got to drop on it. They already come in the game. They already know it's a passing play. It's a passing play. You know, and, and, and like I said before, with Kerryon Johnson, you won't get that. Is he pass blocking? Is he running the ball? It's a threat. Is he catching the ball? It's a threat. And I think theoretic is taken away from his 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 ability to showcase his his, uh, his skills in the passing game. Then again, he not better than Zach Zinner running the ball. Yeah, he catch the ball better than Zach Zinner, but Zach Zinner is more explosive than theoretic. He a power runner. You know, he can break tackles. You know, at the end of the day, can can he work on his his pass catching game? Yeah. But then again, we not here. You know, he not here for that. He here. They'll run between the tackles, get the tough yards, and he's more explosive. C.J. Andrews in the same type of back. Run between the tackles, you know, power guy, explosive. They can do good enough in the, in the passing game to overcome theoretically because you got Kerryon Johnson who can catch it. Tyler Johnson, I don't know if he has his name from Maryland. Hope I'm mad. Sorry if I'm butchering his name. You know, can he provide something in the passing game? I don't know. I really don't know. But at this point, you know, you nobody wants theoretic in the league. Nobody wants to trade for him. If he get cut, somebody pick him up. They need a running back, you know. But he's not gonna go out there and be no Barry Sanders or be even a fucking Reggie Bush. You know, he be on this team getting a check because maybe he's a nice guy. But ability, it's never, it's never, it's never screamed to me like, oh man, theoretic is. Yeah, he one of the best pass catching backs in, in in the league as far as catching. And route running. But then again, what is he providing? You're not providing nothing after the catch, really. He give you a couple good bursts here and there, but is he taking it to the house? The Lions need playmakers. They need burners. They need speed. You know, in the draft, they didn't get no faster. They got Will Harris, 4-4-1. Tyler Johnson, 4-3-6 or 4-3-3, whatever you clocked at his pro day. If you look at Jelani Tavai, 4-8-6 guy, you look at – um. You know, like he plays faster now. You look at uh, T.J. Hawkinson, four seven guy, which I'm not really worried about the tight end speed, but their ability should be trying to get faster. Danny Amendola, slower player. Trey Flowers, a slower player. You know what I'm saying? Their ability should be getting faster and quicker. That's where the NFL is going because you got to play in space. Those Mike Vrabel and Teddy Bruschi type of linebackers now, Dick Buckets, man, those dudes, you know, have a tough time playing in the league because now you got people spreading you out. Now they in the now they basing they basing the offense out of three receivers, you know what I'm saying. Now they going out four or five receivers. Now you got to be able to cover not only tackling space but covering space. No, no matter if you're in the zone or not, you know. And at the end of the day, it saves some money, man. You know, you got a cheaper option than Tyler Johnson. You got other cheap, cheaper options out there than, than theoretic. Like I said before, it's, it's no need for him to be on this team. And I know a lot of people are gonna be, oh, I mean, you hate no theoretic. Like really, at the end of the day. Are you really, is theoretic really a threat to come out the backfield? Are you, are you, are you, are you think teams really saying, oh, shit, theoretic in the game, let's stack the box? Because guess what? It's not a receiver position. The running back position requires you to run the ball. Theoretic is ineffective in running the ball. Now they know what he's going to do. Either it's the option route, I'm going to break out, or I'm going to sit down in this, in this, in this hole in the zone. Or I'm going to break it on the inside. Or I'm going to be on the in-and-out Texas route. Or out and in, excuse me. I know what he's running. So they sitting on the play right there. Like, shit, we know he's going he to get in the game. If he pass blocking, it's going to be a pass. Or he's coming out for a reception. And if it's fourth and nine, I mean, excuse me, third and nine, third and eight, third and five, they might run a running back draw just to be conservative. You know what it is. He tipping the plays off when he comes in the game because he lacks the ability to run the ball. Effectively. It's a running back position, not a receiver position. You know what I'm saying? You know, even on third downs, you need somebody that can, you know, take a three-yard catch and turn it into a 10- or 12-yard catch. He don't do that too often. He do it in garbage time. You know, when the Lions, you know, trying to come back and pass Stafford time. But when you need him to do it the most, he ain't there. He don't have that explosiveness, man. But, like I said, that's just my opinion on it, man. Some people go, man, you ain't no theoretic. No, like I said, man, don't come here if you don't want that real shit, man. For real, man. Motor City Sports Talk. Y'all know what the business is. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Um, keep sharing the videos. It's the best way to help your boy out. Share, share, share. Appreciate the love and support. Motor City Sports Talk. One time for the one time. CJ Goodfellow, we gone.